Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be cleaning and decorating here in my master bathroom. I have been in the process of redoing this room for about the past year. It is not a project that I have done quickly. I've just been taking it step by step and doing one project at a time. But I'm so excited to clean with you guys today. We're going to clean this whole bathroom and while we're cleaning, I'm going to kind of tell the story of redoing this entire space and give you some before and after shots. And then we're going to decorate this space together. As you can see, we've added some cute floating shelves, some decor, some wall decor, but I can't wait for you guys to see how it turns out. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, my friends, so I'm just giving you a quick before shot on the day that I cleaned the bathroom. So as you can see, we've already, you know, done a lot of the whole makeover stuff. And then I had my husband help me hang all the stuff on the walls. So this is kind of a current view before we just clean and decorate. But as we clean and decorate today, I wanted to tell you the whole process of making over this bathroom because it has changed quite a bit since we moved in this house. The only things that are really um, still here are just the, you know, the basic bones of the bathroom. We did this whole makeover on a budget. Of course, we would have loved to gut the bathroom and really update it, but we don't anticipate being in this house forever. And we just wanted to, you know, keep the tile, keep the bathtub, the shower, sinks, all that. So. We're doing this on a budget. You can watch me clean here. I'm using um, Sprayway glass cleaner to clean the glass surfaces, the Method um, tub and tile spray to clean everything else. So if you have any questions, that's what I'm using. But I just wanted to give you guys some information about what we've redone in this bathroom. So um, since we're cleaning the vanity right now, I will tell you what has changed with the vanity. Um, quite some time ago, probably a year or more ago, we did switch out the faucets here. The original ones were from when the house was built, so um, over 20 years old. And my handle on my faucet just like broke off, so we had to go get new ones. So these are just like standard brush nickel faucets we got at Home Depot. The sink top, the vanity, all that is existing from when the house was built. Um, we did also install a new light fixture. I'll put a before picture in here so you can see what the vanity used to look like. It had one of those very cheap builder grade, like mirrored light fixtures with the big ball lights on it. And then just a standard build, builder grade mirror that was sitting right on top of the vanity there. So we installed a new light and pushed it up closer to the ceiling because we knew we wanted to raise the mirror. Both myself and my husband are very tall and he couldn't even see his face in the mirror. He is 6'6". Six, six. So we wanted to raise the mirror. So we ended up being able to use the same builder grade mirror. We just raised it up. And then that cool frame that you see around the mirror, I actually ordered off of a website called Mirror Mate. And it is basically just a frame. You put it together by yourself and you just stick it onto the mirror and it makes those regular builder grade mirrors look so pretty. You can't see the clips around the edges at all or anything. And then our new light fixture that I purchased, I got that on Amazon. It is just a simple brush nickel light fixture and the globes on it are a clear seated glass. And I really love how upgraded it looks but everything of course on a budget and we didn't have to buy a new mirror which saved us you know a couple hundred dollars so that was nice i'm moving on over here to the toilet cleaning that we didn't even get a new toilet this is the same toilet i would like to get new toilets at some point um just to get nicer ones in my opinion but one day but just cleaning the toilet here and i use the scrubbing bubbles toilet wand to clean my toilets but we also installed a toilet paper holder onto the side of the vanity. There were holes in the vanity where someone had put one there before, um, but it wasn't there since we've moved into this house. We haven't had one. I've just had the toilet paper like sitting on a little table to the side. But so we actually have a toilet paper holder. We are so fancy now, <laughs> but okay. So moving on to the tub area, 
We didn't really do much in this area except we did install the curtain rod and the curtains before the house had blinds and all the windows but no curtains. So we got new windows a couple years ago in the entire house and I'm not really a blinds person. I didn't, we didn't grow up with blinds, plus I don't like cleaning them at all. So I'd rather just have curtains on all the windows, which is fine. But while I'm cleaning the bathroom, I'm going to slow down, take a step back and tell you about everything that I did in this bathroom. So we did not take out any of the fixtures, um, the tub, shower, any of that. All that's the same, but to update it, I really did a lot of basic work on the walls and everything. So. First step I did was I did paint the ceilings in here. They weren't that bad, but I could just tell that they needed a good coat of, you know, fresh white paint. So I did that over a year ago, I would say. And then we also had to replace our vent light up in the ceiling of the bathroom. Our previous one was original to the house and it made this awful, awful squeaking noise every time you turned on the fan. So we didn't even use it, um, but we did replace that and got a nice clean white one. The old one was really yellowed. Our new one is very pretty and bright white and it's so quiet. So now we can actually run the fan while we're showering and don't have to like fog up all the mirror and the window and all that. So that's really nice. Step number one. Then I went on to painting the walls. So on the walls, th this whole bathroom used to be painted beige. And as you can see, the bathtub is kind of a beige color. The tile is a beige color. So the entire bathroom was beige. So I decided to paint this bathroom the same color as our master bedroom, since they are, you know, joining rooms. But the paint color is Spare White by Sherwin-Williams. It is a very bright white with just a hint of a green to it. And I really love how it's neutral, but also I love green. And so it's just a very relaxing color and kind of spa-like, I guess, if you wanna count it like that for the bathroom. So here you can see I'm fixing this over the door mirror. I decided to put one of these in here because I haven't been able to see my outfits with my shoes on in like four years because I haven't had a full length mirror and we don't have space for like a standing mirror in our bedroom or anything. So a $20 over the door mirror from Walmart will serve me just fine. So after I finished clean or painting the walls, I did deep clean the tile and the grout. I kind of make my own grout cleaning solution. It is um, hydrogen peroxide, Dawn dishwashing liquid, and baking soda, and I make kind of a paste with that. And then I actually bought an attachment for my husband's drill and scrubbed all the grout and the tile that way. The grout in this house is very dark, even though it should be kind of a light gray. So I have scrubbed the tile in our guest bathroom and then I did our bathroom. I still need to do the kitchen. So that worked out really well and really freshened up the tile a lot. And then um, I painted the baseboards and the trim around the bathtub, just gave that a fresh coat of white paint. They were really beat up. Um, some of the baseboards were down to like the bare wood color in areas. So that really made the whole room look so much cleaner. So now that we're cleaning the shower here, the shower insert is the same and everything, but this shower used to have a very old style like shower door on it where it would like swing out like an actual door and it was really gross. That thing was so nasty and I hated cleaning it. I never could get it all the way clean with like the soap scum and everything. And so finally I, talked my husband into taking it off the shower <laughs> and we patched the holes in the fiberglass and everything and ditched that thing, took it to the landfill and I got a tension rod from Amazon as well as a new shower curtain and we mounted it way, way up on the wall so that my husband can get in and out of the shower without ducking his head. <laughs> so that was awesome and we were so glad. That is all of like the bare bones like makeover stuff that we did before decorating this room so we have really 
flip to this room without flipping it, if you know what I mean. Like we didn't do construction, but pre pretty much changed almost everything without ripping stuff out. So this room is so much lighter and brighter and cleaner than it ever has been. And I'm so happy that we are going to decorate it and make it really pretty here in just a couple minutes. Okay, you guys, now that you have heard my whole story of making over this bathroom, let's do the fun part and let's decorate. So here I'm adding some new rugs on the floor. I actually picked up those two, like they're, they show up black on camera, but they're really a dark charcoal gray bath mats. Those are just from Walmart, the Better Homes and Gardens brand. But when I went shopping, I knew I wanted to get a runner rug to go here in front of our vanity and I wanted it to be a very cute pattern. And so I just happened across this one at Home Goods, and I love the way it turns out. It's kind of a cream color with the dark gray pattern throughout, and it's reversible. You can flip it over. It's machine washable, and I just love that pop of fun pattern that it gives to the room. <music> also purchased a new little bathroom caddy there for the vanity top that's where we keep our toothbrushes toothpaste contact cases stuff like that and then the matching soap dispenser those are both from home goods and then i also picked us up new all new bathroom towels from home goods as well i got two of those like packs where you get two towels two hand towels and two washcloths and i threw all of our old towels away they were from when we got married almost like eight and a half years ago. So we finally got new towels and they are so soft and thick and luxurious as well as the, the new rugs I put on the floor. Oh my gosh, they're so soft and they're not beige anymore. And I am so glad this room is not all beige anymore. <laughs> Okay, now we are going to style the bathtub area. So this is a very large bathtub and I love it. I wish it wasn't a jacuzzi tub. I don't use the jets at all, but I love the size of the bathtub because I can fit in it and stretch my legs all the way out. It's really nice, <laughs> but I really wanted to create a cozy space because bubble baths are my jam. I love a good bath to relax. So I got those two candle sticks um, on the left side, those are from Home Goods. The battery operated candles are from Amazon. And then at Home Goods the other day, I was able to pick up this floral arrangement on clearance for $9. What a steal. And I just love the like spa element. Just it's so pretty over here on the tub, I think. And it matches our um, artwork on the walls, which is all from Hobby Lobby. So all the pictures you see on the walls, as well as these shelves we installed, all of that is from Hobby Lobby. Here I'm gonna share with you how I style these shelves. This little, um, I think it's probably like a little lantern, like votive holder. I got that um, from Hobby Lobby on a 75% off clearance sale some time ago. And I'm just gonna put a battery operated candle down in there so I can turn it on when I'm taking my bubble baths. And then we're just going to add lots of green and neutral elements to these shelves. I'm so excited to have these shelves. I've had this vision in my head for a long time and I love styling them and I cannot wait because I'm even going to be adding some like fall elements in here in the fall. Obviously Christmas trees are going to be on these shelves at Christmas. <laughs> you guys know I love my seasonal decorating so I can't wait to style these throughout the year.
So the top shelf is purely decorations. Um, here on the bottom shelf, I really wanted to put some practical items up here. Right now I'm just sharing with you how I'm gonna line up the containers, but I'm going to use these containers to store my bath salts, my bath bombs, and my bubble bath because I use one or some combination of those things every time I take a bath. So we are going to use these cute containers to store those. So here I'm sharing with you how I'm going to just decant all this stuff. So in this large glass container, I'm using this to store my bath salts. And I typically use like the Dr. Teal's bath salts as well as the bubble bath. And so I found this cute, I think this is technically probably like an olive oil container. Found it at HomeGoods for $2.99 the other day and I thought that would be so pretty to put my bubble bath in and it has the same like glass container with the cork lid so it matches the other one perfectly and I just love how this comes together. questions about any of the items you see in today's video be sure to head over to my website it's www.kindlykatie.wordpress.com I'm going to put together a blog post with all of the linked items in it so you can find that information over there I also decided to switch out this mini wreath on top because I liked the more whimsical look of this one better but now I'm going to share with you guys the final looks of everything in this bathroom and how it all came together. I hope you enjoy and make sure you're looking out. There have been some little minor changes here and there.
that's going to wrap up today's clean and decorate here in my master bathroom. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing the process of cleaning and decorating this room as well as hearing a little bit about what all we've done in this space. Of course, I would love to like gut this room and change the tile, change the bathtub, the shower, all those things, but it's not really practical for the budget that we have in this house. And um, I'm really proud of how we made it look on a budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you join me here at Kindly Katie. I do lots of cleaning decorating and mom life videos. Stay tuned. Spring and Easter decorating is going to be starting very, very soon. And I can't wait to share my ideas with you guys. So I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.